Good morning from the Algarve. It is a spectacular morning here today. Um, it is 22 degrees already, it's 8.30 in the morning. And I was just going to show you these flowers. I'll just turn the camera around. You see these beautiful flowers, like a cornflower blue. I didn't know, um, but it's actually chicory and they used to make um, camp coffee. I've had one of these fires there. Yeah, they used to make camp coffee um, with it um, years ago. And I think they um, roast the root to make a coffee. So uh, that's quite interesting. Now, Abe's been cracking on with this wall down here. He's made an excellent job. Look at that wall. It is fabulous. And he's cracking on with it this morning uh, before it gets too hot. Um, I'll have to stop about 11 o'clock because it's going to get to around 29 degrees today. I should imagine there's a few sore heads here in Portugal as it was a national holiday yesterday, it was Labour Day and our neighbours kindly sent over a couple of beers each and uh, some bacalao which is the salted uh, codfish in cream and also um, some cake, carrot cake and spinach cake so that was really nice of them. Uh, the Portuguese people are so incredibly kind. Um, so I'm just going for a little wonder. This morning I saw the most beautiful butterfly. Um, it was yellow and orange and I didn't manage to capture it on video because I just squirted it with water. Um, and yesterday I saw a yellow, um, a yellow tail. Picking up the rocks for his wall. It's really warm already, you know. It's warm to be working in it. Everything's done so well in the polytunnel. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cut back some of these big leaves off the squash and the goodness will go back into the squash itself. Um, so we don't need these big leaves. So that's what I'm going to do now. Look at that, look at the size of that. Everything has done so well in the polytunnel. Just think, four to six weeks ago, this was still a seed. Am I going to throw the squash leaves on the compost heap? No, because squash leaves are highly nutritious 
and you can sa saute them in garlic butter um, and that's what I'm going to do for lunch. So we're going to um, try that one out as a recipe. Not only do they look absolutely gorgeous, but they're so easy to grow here. Um, so that's something to bear in mind if you're coming to Portugal and you're wanting to grow things. All the things like peas, the beans, the squashes have done exceptionally well. And so has the, the melons, tomatoes. Um, we just can't wait. Hopefully this week will be the turning point for us, touch wood. Um, with the um, digger working, we're hoping for the digger working um, so we can get the raised bed up and um, also the water. That's the two big things that we need to sort out this week. I am hoping that the borehole company people stick to the word and come either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, let's wait and see. So it is starting to get quite warm out there now. Um, so I don't know how long they will last because it, uh, it is quite um, hot. Uh, the squash greens. I'm going to pot up some nasturtiums now. Um, we usually put nasturtiums with cabbages, but we haven't got our cabbages out yet. So I'm going to put them in some pots. I have got some more nasturtium seeds. So when these cabbages go outside, I'll pot them with that. Um, just to pretty uh, the place up a bit. So um, yeah, I'm going to put them in these little pots. But I bought some, um, some bulbs from Lidl and we literally didn't get anything come up and I don't know why so um, I'm just going to pop them in there and uh, I'm sure these will come up because they the surgeons are pretty good um, they're a mixture of colour it's a tom thumb mix so I should imagine they're quite small anyway and you can actually eat nasturtium flowers and I think the leaves are a bit peppery so I think you can add them to salads as well I'm actually sat on my compost bag I'm going to keep them in here for a little while to because it is so hot outside until they're established so I pop, pop them outside I don't think they like direct sunlight I mean I think they do okay but I don't think they do brilliantly they've actually grown downwards of the bulbs but they haven't grown upwards so I don't know what happened there I'm going to still keep them in the bowl um, to see if anything does happen. Um, just a bit of a shame really. Keep them in the plant pot, they might come up next year. So, Ebs, we've got some good news this morning, haven't we? Yes, I'm just having a little sip of my whiskey, which I not normally drink whiskey. Ugh. Okay, um, that's what I mean, I don't normally drink whiskey. Um, yes, uh, Leo got in touch with me last night about the, the digger, and he said to us that he, he had the, um, the, uh, the rear arm, the ram arm, tested yesterday. And he said, the uh, guy who tested it said there's not a problem with the um, the well done whatsoever. And um, he said he's also smoothed out the um, the bevel. 
There's in, a dent. A dent, the slight dent in it. And he said there won't be an issue with it. Uh, you know, so uh, he's had two opinions. So that's saved us a lot of money. Um, Are you getting it on? I'm going to get it all on. I'm going to get it all on um, Sunday, including my little digger, little tractor. tractor, little tractor. So I'm very happy. I was going to start digging out the footings um, this morning. It came by hand, but I thought to myself, it's it's a very hard job by hand, especially on the um, around the house because it's full of stones and rocks. And it says, why am I doing this? What well, it's going to well, it's going to take me an hour to do a meter. And I've got a lot of meters to do, and a digger will do it in f minutes. So I said to myself, we'll leave it at that, and we'll take a little break from the property and do it, and um, hopefully, full on on Sunday and Monday from then on. So, Angela, uh, we aren't, we're not going anywhere, are we? Because. Well, we're actually waiting for the ball pump people to arrive. Now, they said that it would be either Wednesday or Thursday, and it's Thursday today. That was ape slurping. Um, so let's just hope that they do actually turn up because um, the nine times out of ten, they just don't. So if they don't turn up today, we're going to go down there first thing tomorrow with the pump as well. But you have to look at it in a good way. If you think about it, they're so laid back here uh, compared to the UK. Uh, uh, this is the kind of yeah. lifestyle we wanted. I, I think the thing is, though, they have so much on with people with their bar pumps and also making probably more money than what they would make out just changing the pipes. Um, I think we'll be down the list of um, priorities, to be fair, but um, let's wait and see. And hopefully we can have water and that would be a massive step forward. Now, I mean, we do have water at the moment, but it is municipal water. Yeah, the thing is, we want to put a drip feed in through the land. Yeah. So uh, the water, the, the land will self-irrigate. And we'll be able to um, then um, put the raised beds in and then plant the tomatoes next week, which will be exciting. This is my fair weather friend. As soon as the toasties have finished, she's gone. Food. <laughs> she really likes the food. She's off. Can you see him? We've decided to call him Prince Philip. We get that close up. There we go, that's Prince Philip. And he keeps all the mozzies at, at bay here in the kitchen. And he's off to his favourite spot by the beam. Just look at that view, isn't it spectacular? Prince Philip has left us a little present on the um, window shelf, but we don't mind because he's doing a good job. Uh, absolutely beautiful day out there. In fact, it's too hot now to actually go out and do anything.